All right, today in this 2012 Honda Odyssey, we're gonna install part number 118521 from Tow Ready. Okay, first thing we need to do is get inside the hatch of the vehicle, and we'll go ahead and remove the threshold plate. The cargo net hooks we have to remove. We'll put a piece of a tile over them and use some pliers to unscrew them. And then we'll go ahead and use a, uh, a trim panel tool to pop out the plastic rivets underneath and pop off the panel. We'll go to the driver's side panel and remove the cargo hook there too. Okay, and then we'll pop the panel loose as well. We'll go ahead and remove the cover for a fuse panel as well. Now we'll go ahead and start routing our T1 harness. To initially install it, we're going to run it through the opening for the fuse panel and run it up over the plastic on the interior. Just so we can see, so we can pull it through. Alright, now we can go ahead and plug this into the fuse panel. If this vehicle had backup sensors, the port would already be occupied. So what we have to do is remove it, plug it into the T connector half that has just the one wire, and set it aside. Basically, it would just hide behind the plastic panel. And then our T connector would plug into its place. We want to worry about it on this one, so we'll just leave the one half alone with the white wire and just plugs directly into the port. Okay, now we'll go trace our white wire with the ring terminal over to the other side towards the tailgate. There's a factory ground screw. We'll go ahead and remove a screw and attach the white wire with the ring terminal to it for ground. Now we'll locate the gray 12 pin connector and we'll go ahead and plug the module into that. And now we'll go ahead and find a location to install the module. The module is held in place by some adhesive. Now if we look at the, the behind the panel you can see there's two pockets. We can actually uh, hide it between the two pockets. So we can go ahead and clean off an area of the plastic and then we'll go ahead and sneak the module in there and adhere it. Okay at this point we can go ahead and reinstall the side panel. All right, now we'll go ahead and go ahead and install the fuses that we need for a tow package. To install our fuses, we'll go by the legend that's on the inside of the cover. Starting with the 7.5 amp fuse on, this, on the fuse location number two on the second row, we'll install the fuse. And then we'll go over to location number eight for a 10 amp fuse. Then on the bottom row, located number 10, we'll go ahead and install another 7.5 amp trailer fuse. All right, now we can go ahead and replace the cover. Now I'll go ahead and turn our attention to the four pole wire. We'll go ahead and zip tie it to the factory wire harness to secure it. And then the rest of our wire harness can stay underneath the mat at the very bottom of the floor. Or there's a small grommet that you can pop out and you can run your wires through out to the outside if it's desired. However, the, the, the hole is not big enough for the four pole. So you may, you may have to either A, enlarge the hole and then reseal it or B, You'll have to cut the wire harness and then run it through and reattach it. However, when you do do that, you do void the warranty on the part. On this application, we're going to leave it on the inside. And when we do that, all we got to do is just pull to the outside and shut the hatch on it. Just make sure we stay away from the center latch so it doesn't get damaged. The weather seal is thick enough where it won't hurt the wire when the door is shut. We can go ahead and reinstall the threshold panel and then we're finished. And with that, that'll finish it for our install part number 118521 from Tow Ready on our 2012 Honda Odyssey.